Welcome back to For The King. As you can see, another recording on the same day. Same shirt. Oh God, or is it a new day, same shirt? Oh God, hope not, hope not. We were joking before earlier when we said that. Welcome, welcome back everyone. Why don't we just... Oh, no, we want to save this, don't we? We would like to actually teleport there. <clears throat> and I wouldn't mind... Ah, oh, let's... I believe if we go here, we should pull in everyone from this region, so... If we were to do that, why don't we actually do we have any teleports left? We do. We have a teleport right here. We trade the teleport scroll, which is right. Yeah, there we go. We trade it across to Cameron. Cameron now has one to his name. Don't click on that item. We really don't want to be using that. We use the teleport scroll. We then head right over to here. And now we can actually explore a little bit over here. Anything cool that we want to see. We have a dark carnival and I believe we have any tickets. If we click on this, does our party get sucked in? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so we need to teleport everyone across then. In which case, we will just do that right now, won't we? Now, Sandoy's turn. What do we have here in Dragonhold? In our market, we could upgrade our pipe here as well. We do have the God's Beds. I wouldn't mind some Golden Roots. Um, now, Teleport Scroll. You guys have enough Teleport Scrolls anyway here, so we're fine. Volcanic Tome. Not bad, not bad. Inferno Blast, Greater, targets all enemies and targets a single enemy. Firewall, Smoke Wall, plus 50% damage against ice. I think that is pretty good. I don't know why I slowed down that um, discussion that slow, but I do like it there. It's about the same damage, but it has more AoE and it's really good against ice. What else do we have? A Great Lightning Staff, slightly more damage does have a piercing attack. I don't think we need that though. I think we do go for the Volcanic Tome. We buy that. We then trade that across um, to our friend here. Volcanic Tome gifted to Barbara. Barbara can equip that right now. Volcanic Tome. We will equip that now. Actually, we do have quite a bit to sell here, don't we? We want to sell the Goblin Bow. It's trash. The Sturdy Dagger is not bad. The Arch Loot is not good enough. We will sell that. The Ancient Bow will keep, the Great Torch we can keep, the Ancient Loot we can keep. Um, we'll sell a Bone Buckler as well, really not that good. Look at all this equipment, look at all this armor that we've got. Anything that is very, very low, we will remove. Roundhelm, goodbye. Explorer's Hat, not bad, goodbye. Town Guard Helm, not good enough. Sell both. Silver Skull is not bad, but the two focus is better than one physical damage there for sure. Silver fear that you're gone. Focusing stone. We'll sell one. We'll sell two. Herb Encyclopedia probably sells for a wee bit. There we go. Shiny pendant. Not bad. We're going to sell you. Rusty medallion. Not good as well. Oh, sorry, not bad, but certainly the elemental Usek is much better. I, I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. I have no clue. Silk scarf. Goodbye. Pale crystal. Wow, that's, that's worth a lot. Holy. Four awareness for 35 gold as a selling. Okay, we're fine with that. Now, what do we have? We do have enough for a dragon's pipe. We could go for that. Or we could... I'll tell you what. Everyone is now a healer. The whole entire party. You get a heal and you get a heal and you get a heal. Now, we trade the money across. We give it all. And then, we also teleport you across here. Well, we can't teleport you very far at all, can we? We will. T How much movement do you have here? Does it say? You've still got four movement. So if we went here... Valid land hex. Is that not valid? Oh, that's why. We have a snow cave. Okay. Interesting. Actually, I think we might now be too far outside of that. So we'll use one more movement. Now we should be pulled in. End our turn. So it wouldn't actually let us teleport there because there was something there. Even... Even better than I could have dreamed for. Okay, strength. Should have done this beforehand. We will leave. We won't worry about that. We do have our market here. We now have 116 gold. With our 116 gold, we will buy some more gods. But I think that's the most important one for us. We then leave. We then use our teleport scroll right here. And now we enter into the Warlocks Volcano. Our whole party will be pulled in. We can then head back to that um, ice cave there afterwards. And that actually might give us near the level 10 that we need. To then finish off our fight here. 
what do we go for? We could go for some taunting, get the whole team going towards us, although it does only taunt one enemy, doesn't it? I think we just start the melee attack on our middle unit here, and we go for the flaming lunge. Good stuff. You are immune to fire though, I see. Uh, that's okay. Reset. Reset slows everyone, does it? Smoke wall for evasion up. It's not bad. And is not bad even more so, given that you all have magic resist. Wow, you fizzled with a double focus use there. That hurts. That hurts there. Barbara, I expected better from you. Now, double immunity though is great. That's why I love that. Um, we want to use Awe. Oh my god, Awe? Beautiful. I just realized the name of this attack there. I love it even more now. We will go for you here. 100% chance to hit. Everybody is wet. You no longer have the resistances. Bit of damage. Good thing that we have quite a bit of um, armor here though on all of our units, that's for sure. You are in flame still, that's fine. Um, yeah, we go for you here. And even if we miss one or two, there we go. The volcano has been sealed. Now we just have to finish off both of you. Ignite. You are not resistant to fire. But you are resistant to damage. I think we just go for an attack on you here. We just start directly smacking you. 48 damage. We actually could kill you here. We really want to use the focus and we do get you. Just enough um, excess damage there beyond your armor. Now here we just go for the attacks. Direct damage. No need to use any focus. A crit is even better there. And go for our flaming lunge. Again, the fire is not what we want. 1 HP. Surely. Surely this is it. Surely you don't evade it. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Loot the corpses and we find gold. Book of Law. Volcano Hat. 100% damage against ice. Oh boy. Plus 3 magic damage. We have to equip it onto you. Burn immunity. Yeah. That's fantastic. We do lose armor, we do lose resist. But that vol oh my god, also her hat is now a volcano. It is literal. Um we should probably go to the time cave as well. So why don't we go snow cave, time cave, and then maybe back down to our frostbite peak if we're ready at that point. Oh, we do also have this to get to. So we've got a few options here, that's for sure. Now Barbara, what you doing? What you doing there? You do have your Volcano Hat, you also have a Volcanic Tome. So now we've got 50% damage against Ice and 100% damage against Ice. I really hope that stacks. I want to see Barbara becoming our primary damage source here soon enough. That would be lovely. Oh, you found a Golden Root. Very nice. Um, speaking of Golden Roots, we've got one there. We can also use our Dancing Nettle, which we might just do so that we can move all the way down here, pull everyone into our Snow Cave. Level 5, I mean we'll still get a bit of experience here, then we'll head into our level 8 area here. And Bob's your uncle, happy days. These enemies should not be too difficult. Immune to stealing coin there, lovely. Immune to theft, what is that coming from? I should check that out later. Okay. We'll go for you here. Great. Now you could do AoE, which is not bad, or you could take you out. Let's do it this way. Good stuff. We could of course hit you, as you do have quite a bit of armor, but even so, as you don't stun us, our damage will go quite a ways through that anyway, with just the significant amount of damage that we do outright. So that still almost kills you beyond your armor there, so... No worries whatsoever, we take you out. Oh my god, he lost his head? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Loot the corpse, we get some gold. We get a fine saber. Stab, parry, repost. Evasion, crit chance, speed. Honestly, I'll equip this over here, actually. No, the fire sword is still worth it over here. We'll equip it over here, or we'll collect it, sorry. And then we can maybe use it with a shield later on if we deem necessary. We keep going here, we can do another combat there. One elemental. One frost crag, no worries. Now what we might do, oh my god, no, oh my god, look at that damage. Look at that damage. He is weak to fire. This is what we do. We 
you just one shot him. That is what I wanted to see, Barbara. You are absolutely killing it. So that Frost Crag is obviously ice, and I believe those two bonuses stack. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Six resistance, one max focus, three intelligence. We'll collect it in case your um, hat gets disintegrated by acid. I want to see more ice enemies, please. Give them to me. Okay. Um, best chances across here. We'll disarm the whole lot, hopefully. Good stuff. We've been very fortunate with our traps so far. It does mean that we are feeding Sandoi quite a bit of experience there, although Cameron's still ahead thanks to his sanctum of wisdom there. What else do we have? We continue going. You don't want to heal up just yet. We have a chest. We will use an identify scroll. It is just a chest. We will just open it. And now I believe we'll have the end of the dungeon as well there. God's bed. I mean, God's speed too. Look how much God's bed we've got across the whole party here. Actually bonkers. Take a teleport scroll. Why not? And continue. And open it up. And what do we have in our final item here and our treasure and our treasure area our little ice cave treasure Ooh, max focus less strength intelligence and curse immunity we will equip that in a heartbeat we of course do reduce oh hang on physical damage or evasion i mean the strength is increasing our ability to hit quite significantly here so i think we instead bring it across here we lose the poison and water immunity, but the extra three physical damage there, more damage, even better here. Okay, great. Go. <laughs> that's not great wizard staff. That's a goat wizard staff. Two very different things. Freeze immunity. We will take it here in case Barbara needs to switch it up there. Of course, some pretty good items. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, can we hit across here and take out this haunt? If I click on you now, does the, uh, the rest of our party come? No, it does not. We'll just wait here. We'll wait until everyone's within range. That unfortunately does mean waiting in the cold and taking some damage. We'll explore out here a little bit. Nothing useful. We have a little slime friend up there. Oh, what is that? Ice idol. Never seen that before. Requires intelligence. I am not very intelligent right now. So we will not be the one to lead the way there. Let's see how we fare against the old one. Run it to blank or you'll miss it. I did the same thing tomorrow. Okay. Very interesting. That you slowed. Oh, so slow times are all slowed. I see. We are immune to confusion though. Now, I think upgrading our evasion here is pretty important. The evasion is now about, you know, a one in three chance of evading, which is quite nice. Now, bleed or fire. I like the idea of fire. Better chance of hitting, better chance of setting you alight. More frequent, smaller damage, but more frequent. Oh god, Sandoya needs healing. In fact, we will just heal you yourself. That's why we've got some gods bound on you there, mate. Okay, we can use our wet. Or we'll try to at least, we do. Now you are not immune to anything. What is this? You dodged, great. Now you're trying to stun everyone. Stop time. Oh god, wow, okay, you just get many, many turns. Oh, please, please. No! No! Oh god, you're going for Cameron. Thank you, thank you. Party heal. Party heal. Oh god, did you see how close both of our party members got there? I did fear for their lives. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we go for the big attacks. When we actually get a turn, we're doing quite good damage and actually taking him out quite well. Golden Brew. Discipline, give somebody else a focus, and you kill them. There we go. I like the slow-mo ragdoll there. Big fan. Okay, lots of gold. A book. One movement bonus, plus 10 speed. Interesting. Plus 10 speed would not be bad with Sandoya, just so that he gets to move very, very frequently here. In fact, well, do we go in one magic damage and four crit chance? Screw it. We're going to do it on Barbara here. I really don't think that the amplifying crystal is doing enough. So we'll equip that there. And now Barbara's pretty kitted out in some red items there. Red item, red item. We can upgrade our faded pearls if we get a chance to. 
but otherwise we're still doing pretty good. Now, it is Sandoya's turn. What is he going to do? Does he teleport down here? I think what we might do, Barbara actually has the portal scroll. So I think we might portal down to here, level 7. Kill that, maybe kill some more on the way. Maybe check in on a raven hook as well. Um, God, you're very angry down there, mate. Calm down. Um, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. Nothing else I really want to do. The alluring pool's not really that useful here. We'll just wait there. Barbara's turn. We will also test our ice idol here too. We have the highest intelligence. I'm sure we'll do it. We'll use a focus as well here. That greatly increases our odds. Plus one max focus. Huge. Actually huge. Okay. Now we use our portal scroll. We then portal down near Ravenhook. We then enter. Well, it stays there for nine turns as well. I can see why that's quite a good item. We then head into Ravenhook. Nothing at our quest board? No. Nothing at our market? I mean, there is, but we can't afford it. Instead, let us stay at our inn. Get some focus back. Other goodies as well there. It is Cameron's turn. He also has enough money to stay at the inn. Everybody does actually, which is great. We will head through here. We will enter. We will then head to Ravenhook. Use our inn once again. Beautiful. Max HP, max HP, and soon to be max HP. It is the dawn of a new day as well. You love to see it. Um, anything that we want in the market here? Iron Tower Shield reduces speed. Three party armor is actually pretty huge. What do you currently have for a shield? That's a lot of resist there as well although stun immunity steady i think we want the iron tower shield there right reducing the speed on you is not ideal but i still think it's okay yeah we're gonna buy this we're gonna give it across to our friend there is this oh wow, i didn't realize it was considered a weapon here interesting let's give it to cameron cameron is gonna wear it there we go and now he does have minor speed, but three party armor is making everyone a lot stronger there. Awareness Elite Ambush, Polish Staff, don't make any jokes there folks, it's inappropriate. Dragon Bow, Gladius, Lightning Loot, everything else is just kind of okay. Um, now we can go for a few more of these. We will then trade a lot of those across to our party members. So actually quite a few needed for Barbara. Now we've got 12, 10 and 10. We have spent most of our money on herbs here and I wouldn't change it for the world. Now it doesn't bring in everyone. We just wait here I suppose. And as I say I think we then move across to our eastern area here after this. Oh Cameron couldn't even move that far anyway. Sendoya, you get some decent movement. There we go. Good enough. Actually, perfect. We fight you. We've got two friends there alongside you. Bone Wizard and a Bone Lord. We do take a lot of damage as Sendoya against these enemies here, which is a real shame. Um, going for a Greater Firestorm, though, just seems like the right course of action. And it does inflame the enemy, too. But even Cameron with 20 armor there, still taking a bit of a beating against our enemies there. So we do have to bear that in mind. I think we do go for the Mind Bender. They are all level 7, so it doesn't really matter too much from that perspective. But it's worth focusing on one of the enemies there, right? Now, we focus on you. No, oh, you have the armor. We can't do that. Okay. We go for you. 100%. The splash kills you. You're almost dead. And we'll be able to kill you before you're attacking now. Whoops, I got that in the wrong order. Oh well. Does it matter? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> um, Raider Firestorm, why not? Why not? Okay, that's why not, I suppose. We still did decent damage to you there. We do focus on you. Good stuff. Now, we don't mind attacking you here, even though Sandoya might take some recoil damage, but I don't think he will, because I think it doesn't happen if the enemy is killed. Um, Cameron is a bit hurt here, though. Wow, look at that gold. Holy. 
I guess all enemies uses full combat turn. Sure, we'll take it here. Oh, wow, okay. We really should be using that in our final area here too. I think I'm going to be stacking a lot of those um, in our final fight. Now we've completed the gallows. We do have a master thief camp, which we could go to. Everybody's standing almost close enough. Um, why not? It gives us the experience there, right? Actually, can Cameron level up if we gave him a whole bunch of scholars ward? I think he can. I think he can. I think he can. No, he can't. Just shy of it. Wait, hang on. 56. Actually, he might still be able to. So we give all of our scholars wart to Cameron. This is just to save us one of our 12 gods beds. Maybe not the most advisable strategy, but the one that we are going to be running with here. Let's see. Can we crank it all the way? I'm not even going to do the maths here. One. Two. Three. We do have enough. With six experience left to spare, beautiful. And he levels up. You'll love to see it. Now let's take out this Master Thief camp. We really... Oh no, you're you're immune to thievery, aren't you? We won't try and ambush you. We'll just go straight in for the fight. Now, we might lose the gold on these party members. Doesn't matter. As long as we don't lose it from Sandoya, which we can't, um, due to our immunity to theft, then we're absolutely fine here. Now, you have no resistances whatsoever. As such, we just inflame you all. Um, we'll use one of these as well. Oh, why did I go for the one in the middle? Because that ruins our splash attack. It doesn't matter all that much, but it's still kind of annoying. I should definitely be thinking about that kind of stuff, because that could make a difference in our final fight. Dodged it anyway there. Lovely. Which is quite nice on a less than 1 in 10% chance of dodge. Blast you. And we get a level up with Barbara as well. Look at all that gold that we have. Holy shit. I didn't realize that these encampments were so rich, so wealthy. Oh, okay. Mimic, of course it is. Good dodge. Wow, another 1 in 10, basically. Uh, let's see. We could go for the evasion. It's not attacking that frequently. I think we just go for the blast here. If it was attacking you know, two times for every one of ours, then that could be a different story entirely. But I think we're fine. You are already inflamed. Why don't we try for a bleed then? Oh, you can't bleed. <laughs> That's why we shouldn't do it, I suppose. Um, let's see here. We'll try for an R way. Oh, we'll guarantee an R way. I like the idea of a mimic with the um, eye in the mouth. That makes a lot more sense there. Makes it more mimicky feeling. I wonder if that's kind of the de facto way that mimics are kind of depicted. Now I do play D&D but we haven't run into a mimic just yet. Evasion up on all of our characters should be quite good. Actually looks like it did help there. Great stuff. Didn't mean to draw attention. That was a wasted turn. We should still get you here though with one of our other two Great stuff. What is in our chest? A boat repair kit? Useless. Greater Helm. We gain strength, we lose awareness, and a lot of armor. We've already got plenty of armor. What about over here? We lose the bonus damage, gain the strength, we lose the freeze by, uh, immunity. Honestly, Barbara's gonna be the one that focuses on it. More strength here means more accuracy. Sure, we'll equip the Great Helm. Now, what are we doing next? We are heading across to Frostbite Peak. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing, right? It's gonna take us a wee while to travel across there. What is this? Primordial Oak. Tell you what, we've got good vitality. We'll use one of our focuses and let's test it out here. See what we have. Oh wow, we still don't have the range to get there. Hilarious. And five movement, that's what we want. There we go, lovely. Heal, oh, full party restore. All of this, oh wow, this is fantastic. Full restore for just one, that's fine. Full party heal, of course, would have been better. But you can't always get what you want. Now, what do we have in the market here? Remove all curses. Teleport scroll, purify, tinder pouch. Uh, again, same as what we had before. 
we go for a Scholar's Ward? It could be useful. Let's buy both of these. We can also buy the Hag's Bane. How many teleports do we have? We've got a teleport there. We've got a teleport there. We do not have a teleport on Cameron. So why don't we move up to here? We will not teleport. And we end our turn. Now that does mean that we take some cold damage. I appreciate that. Maybe not the best idea. But how do we do this? I think we go here. Barbara gets some money for an inn. Let's say 30 gold. It's good enough. We heal you up, we get some more focus. Cameron comes across here. Sendoya now gives, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, 100 gold to you. 100 gold, actually, is that enough? I don't think it is. Where were we? Into Ravenhook? What's at the market here? We want to buy a teleport scroll, but we also want to visit the inn. So let's trade over another 30. Nope, not that much. 30. Give that, perfect. Now you can go to the services, you can go to the inn. And now everybody has a teleport scroll. Everybody's basically full HP. And now we can just jump all the way across here. See if there's anything out here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Now, are we strong enough? Not quite, but I still think it's the right way to go. We do have a whole bunch of God's beds. We've got a whole bunch of good herbs along the way as well. I think we should be fine. Let's teleport here, see if we unlock anything here. Find anything worth um, worth checking out. Not really, we'll end our turn. We get a little bit hurt there again. Uh, yeah, we'll teleport once again. So again, using all of our teleports across the board, hopefully a good use of our teleports. Um, I think we just go for it. Level 10. Yeah, why not? Now we are about 25 minutes into our video, maybe a little bit further. Enter party. Why not? Why not? We've got two sanctums. We do have no sanctum on um, Barbara. That is a little bit sketchy. Oh my god, it's so bright. Oof. Okay, so we're climbing a cliff face. Reminds me of Skyrim. Especially reminds me of Skyrim maybe our FPS drops, but that was back when I was having a bit of a worse machine. Chaotic Skull is very interesting. So, very, very magic resistant here. In that case, we'll go for our evasion instead. Evasion most useful here, I believe. Still take damage, understandable. Not going to get them all, I guess. Now, you are immune to fire. You're a dry corpse. Level 8, you're immune to everything. Um, you are not immune to bleed though, the middle guy. Let's try it. Good stuff. Actually, what I, no, I shouldn't have worried about that because this is going to kill him anyway. But at least we still get the AoE strike here. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow, that's a strong melee hit there, I tell you what. Now, we don't want to risk it here, we're going to go for a party heal. We have got so many of these, let's not play it risky at all there. Good dodge, good dodge. Now, 39 damage. If we hit you, we kill you. If we hit you with all, of course, that's what I meant to say. Um, we now then focus on you. We try and take you out. Good dodge, good dodge. I'll give you that one. Is that a curse that you're trying to give us? Are you immune to curse? No. Talent is greatly penalized. Penalized? I hear, is it American there to say penalized or is that a British thing? I'm not too sure. I say penal, penalized, penal, penal code? I'm really not too sure. Sounds inappropriate, sounds dirty. Let's bonk ya. It's not really a bonk, it's more of a poke. All right, first combat done for. We only have four rooms before our next area. We'll collect the gold. 25 party evasion, hell yeah, we'll take that. Smoky orb? God damn. Double evasion. Um, we don't need a party heal just yet. Barbara can take another hit. Famous last words. What do we have here? Oh god, it's going to be a trap, isn't it? You both have the same chances. Let's increase the odds there a wee bit in our favor. Good stuff. Thought it was going to be like an avalanche or something. 
question marks i'm not sure if that's because you've never seen the event before or whether you've never succeeded or passed or failed it before maybe one or two of the maybe both maybe you have to fail and succeed it to know what's going to happen all of the outcomes not too sure armor down you are a mage though you're doing armor down for your mage friends interesting decision um greater firestorm really doesn't help here do this be physical right um the reason why the aoe wasn't that great because it would do minimal damage to both of our enemies on the sides and our wretched bard as well wouldn't take much of a hit either let's go for the let's go for the black witch between cameron and sandoy we should be able to take her out some good aoe as well please don't mess it up thank you I wonder if you can mess it up even if we have a 100% chance there. Maybe, because I know that you sometimes ruin our dice rolls. Armor down, still in effect. Um, let's just go for the damage now. Good hit. Now, you are attacking next, so let's go for you. Good hit. And now you're attacking next, 35 to kill. 36 damage and he's gone see you later off the cliff you go ah oh, good thing you're already dead there i suppose huh how to heal here sounds fine we'll keep going we could have camped here i suppose but the party heal does essentially the same thing and i think saving our camps for later on party oh we've only got one camp left oh no we've got two over here party rest okay we will do that on our next floor We'll keep going here though. We're moving through pretty quick. Of course we get a healing fountain. Um, we don't want to lose experience there. And we are full HP, so we'll just pass it. Even though there's a very good chance. Oh, full party restore though. That's just health though, isn't it? It doesn't include focus points. I mean, why not try it? There's nothing bad that can happen with using Sandoya. Oh, we got a level up. Okay, no, it is also our focus points. That was well worth the attempt there. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, we do need to swap some of our um, herbs across the rest of our party, though. Level 8 enemies. It's not too bad. What are your evasion? Okay, we don't know your evasion stats, but you do have an increased evasion stat at the moment. Um, I mean, two can play at that game there, right? Just kidding. They can't. <laughs> gotcha. Tricked ya. Yeah. Some strong melee attacks there, mate. Confused? Please don't try and run away. You switch to your mace. I mean, it could be worse there, right? Let's go for our 100% guaranteed. Buy witness to everybody. Remove everybody so you're immune to witness. Ah, of course. Oof. Okay. Party heal could be quite good. But I think we can instead go for an attack here first. Can we take you out? No. Can we take anybody out? No. Wait, are we sparked? Is anybody sparked? You're sparked. Let's go for our evasion up again. Maybe we should just go for the damage from now on. It's not working out too well for us. Just trying to curse us all again. Unlucky. And strength is greatly penalized. That's not great. We're still doing good damage though. Oh, is that because you're undead? I think it is. We could kill you here if we get lucky. Oh, hang on. We've also got the shock, though, don't we? All poison, bleeding, disease, and all elemental. I believe shock is an elemental. But we do remove that. Great. Oh, no. Our strength being reduced there is the reason why we're missing. At least we won't have a shock uh, opportunity there. We could guarantee it. I think we instead go for it once. Worth it. We can get a crit in. There you go. How about that? Armor down. It is an armor down. Again, not too much of a concern as you are a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. You're about to attack next. Let's go for you. And we missed anyway, so it really didn't make a difference there, honestly. It's still painful. It's still painful. Oh my god, okay. We go for a party heal here. Don't want to lose Sandoya or his Sanctum of Wealth there, which is actually stacking up some fat stacks of cash. Oh, that was a lot of damage there, too. Oh no. Oh god, thank you. Okay. That's sketchy. You're also not burning. Very nice. Um, 32 damage. 
Let's go for you. As long as we hit two of these, then we're fine. Unless you dodge. Unless you dodge. Yep, that's... Didn't really factor that one in, did we? We're going to heal up again. Now, we want to take out one of you, and the best way to do that is to go for you here. Good. Yeah, overkill. Deserved, I think, with the amount of damage that it did to our party. You increasing the evasion? You are. Okay, we just go straight for the damage, though. Just because your evasion's high doesn't mean that you're going to dodge absolutely everything that we send your way. Um, except for that one, of course. That would have been quite nice to hit him. That's a lot of damage. Let's get you. Good stuff. Okay. We do have another combat coming up. I think we will do another party heal here then in that case. We'll click the gold. Look at that gold that we're getting. Movement, bonus, and speed. Not really that useful. Identify scroll. We'll take it. Now, we can remove the curse. We can also give one of these across to Cameron. So that he can remove his curse. Like so. We've removed both the curses now. Your strength is back. You're doing more damage. Now... Cameron has a whole bunch of something that we were giving our Panax. Let's give a Panax to Barbara there. A little bit of uh, inventory management. You know what happens. Sometimes needed. Actually, you've already got one. Why don't we then instead give it across? Don't click on it because it would remove it. Let's give it across to Sandoya. Everybody's kind of situated here. We've got lots of goodies. We can party heal. We probably should. So we will. A little bit wasteful, but we do have a combat coming up that we know of, and there's a chance that Sandoya just takes all the damage like he often does. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. Yes on all fronts there, apparently. Um, now, you do not have much magic resist. So we could go for you two in the... Oh my god. I think we just guarantee... We go for the spider here first. We try and kill the spider, then we shift our focus. Yes. Nice, perfect. We will go for a party heal. Is that here? Oh, but then, hmm. Yes, no, we can. We can. And then Sandoya kills the spider. Let's go for it. Oh, we forgot to change your weapon back as well, didn't we, Cameron? Whoops. Um, Panax to start with. Good thing I traded that across to you there. No longer have that poison. We then go for the splash in the middle. Kill you in the middle. You are immune, but we did still do some damage on both ends there. I'm lucky that you missed as much as you did. Oh my god. Good thing you're immune. I think evasion is the way to go here, assuming that we don't fizzle. Increases our evasion quite significantly. Now we go for our melee attacks across here, I believe. And that way, even if you miss some of those like that, we should have a better chance of still killing you no matter what. I clicked on the wrong dude. I thought it was Dak in the one on the left. Oh god. Unconscious? Is that worse than a stun? Okay, we will go for a party heal here again. I'm glad that I got as many god's beards as I did. I'll tell you that for nothing. shock as well oh yep Sandora is immune to shock though I'm very grateful that he is immune to as much as he is you can be stunned we would like to stun you where does that move you back down the order quite a ways I'm all right with that um we then just double mind blast you or inferno blast it's one you're inflamed good bit of damage over time Sandora is almost dead but not quite. We got gotcha. you. Great. Now we focus on you. Will you burn on your turn? Do we take that risk? I'm going to try it. Please don't target 10 work. Oh my god. It's like that nose. Alright. That was done. That was dumb. When you've got as many herbs as I do, do not risk it like that. Just play it safe. 
Why bother? Okay, get some extra gold. <laughs> gold multiply. We're not going to take that, but it is hilarious. Um, we then continue onwards. We are going to use one of our um, party rests. Just going to heal us back up to full and give us a bit of focus there too. We will continue on. We do have another party rest on two of our parties, plus a lot more party heals. We will actually trade some of these gods' beds across as well, just to even it back up a bit more. And now we keep going. Okay, these keep going here. I tell you what, we'll call the episode here for right now, and we'll continue our journey later on there. Hopefully we'll still have enough of a decent length episode for our next one. And thank you all very much for tuning in. Great to have you. And I will see you next time. Before then, of course, I'll do my usual. If you are enjoying the episode and the series, please feel free to drop a like and a subscription to the YouTube channel. And also feel free to check it out Twitch at twitch.tv slash I hope to see you there. Catch you next time. Bye there, folks. See ya.